Hi, I'm Dr. Tracy Marks, here to help you get beyond the burnout. I wanted to talk to you today about the power of your voice and your influence and presence in your children's lives. Some researchers out of the University of Wisconsin-Madison did a study where they took a group of girls aged 7 to 12 and they put them under these stressful conditions such as giving a speech in front of strangers and, and solving some complicated math problems. Then they took that group of girls and they divided them into three different groups. They had one group go and be comforted, comforted in person by their moms, like hugged and nurtured. Then they took another group and had them go watch an emotionally neutral movie. And the third group, they let, gave them a telephone and on the end of the line was their mom and they were able to talk to their mom. What they found was both groups, the, the group in the middle who watched the movie, they still had very high stress levels, which was measured by their cortisol level. They still had st high stress levels, but the two groups who had contact with their moms had equally lower stress levels and high production of oxytocin which is a hormone, hormone that we normally associate with breastfeeding and giving birth, but it also has implications in bonding. What's fascinating about that to me is that we can pretty much figure that if someone's hugging you, it's gonna feel good. But what this shows is that even the sound of mom's voice had an equal effect as if she were there hugging you. What does that mean for you? That means, or that just emphasizes how powerful we are in our children's lives, our husband's lives too, but for this particular point when it comes to nurturing and soothing, the sound of your voice can make a tremendous difference. So keep that in mind at the end of an ugly day or if you've heard mommy 50 times already and you're sick of it, that your voice and the sound of your voice makes a tremendous impact on your child. Hope this was helpful for you. Have a great day.